My dear friends, today we will talk about such interesting facts of sugar. I will be assisted by a boy named Alex. So, let's begin. Hi dear friends. Today we will speak about white and brown sugar. Since I've lost enough weight by limiting my intake of sugar, this question about sugar continues to interest me. Therefore, I decided to record a new video for you, my dear subscribers and guests of my channel. I will leave a link to the previous video about sugar in the description of this video. Today we will find out so. What is the difference in manufacturing between white and brown sugar? How is fruit sugar made? Which is safer, white sugar or brown sugar? How much sugar can you consume? Sugar will eat your teeth if. At what age can children consume sugar? Can old people eat sugar? Conclusion on the difference between white and brown sugar. So, white sugar and brown sugar are both types of granulated sugars, but they differ in their processing and composition. White sugar, also known as granulated sugar, is made from refined sugar cane or sugar beet. The refining process involves extracting the juice from the sugar cane or beet, and then purifying and crystallizing it to produce white sugar. This process removes most of the molasses and other impurities, resulting in a sweet, flavorless, and crystallized product. Brown sugar, on the other hand, is made by mixing white sugar with molasses. Molasses is a byproduct of the refining process that is left behind after the sugar crystals are removed. The amount of molasses added to white sugar determines the color and flavor of brown sugar. Light brown sugar has less molasses than dark brown sugar which gives it a lighter color and milder flavor. Brown sugar has a richer, more complex flavor than white sugar due to the presence of molasses. It also contains slightly more moisture, which makes it slightly more moist and sticky than white sugar. These differences make brown sugar a popular ingredient in baking, particularly in recipes that require a deeper flavor. And moist texture, such as gingerbread, chocolate cakes, and certain types of cookies. Overall, the main differences between white sugar and brown sugar are their processing, composition, and flavor. While both sugars can be used interchangeably in many recipes, brown sugar is preferred in some recipes for its unique flavor and texture. How is fruit sugar made? Fruit sugar, also known as fructose, is a type of natural sugar that occurs naturally in many fruits and vegetables. It is also commonly found in honey and agave nectar. Fructose can also be commercially produced from corn or sugar beets through a process called hydrolysis. In the hydrolysis process, cornstarch or sugar beet is first broken down into glucose, which is then further processed to convert some of it into fructose. This conversion process involves treating the glucose with enzymes that convert some of the glucose molecules into fructose. The resulting mixture of glucose and fructose is known as high fructose corn syrup (HFCS) which is commonly used as a sweetener in many processed foods and beverages. However, fruit sugar that is derived from hydrolysis is chemically identical to fructose that occurs naturally in fruits and vegetables. The difference lies in the amount and form in which it is consumed. Consuming fructose in its natural form, as found in whole fruits and vegetables, is generally considered healthy, as it comes along with other beneficial nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. However, consuming fructose in the form of added sugars, such as HFCS or table sugar, can be harmful if consumed in excess, as it can contribute to health problems like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Which is safer, white sugar or brown sugar? Both white sugar and brown sugar are considered safe for consumption in moderation. From a safety perspective, there is no significant difference between the two types of sugar as they are both made from natural sources and have similar nutritional profiles. However, it's worth noting that consuming too much added sugar, regardless of whether it is white or brown, can have negative effects on health. Eating too much sugar can contribute to weight gain, tooth decay, and an increased risk of chronic health conditions such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. It's also important to note that brown sugar is often perceived as a healthier option than white sugar. But this is a common misconception. While brown sugar does contain slightly more nutrients than white sugar due to the added molasses, the difference is not significant enough to make a significant impact on health. Overall, both white and brown sugar can be consumed safely in moderation. 
but it's important to be mindful of added sugar intake and choose whole foods whenever possible. How much sugar can you eat? The American Heart Association AHA, recommends that women limit their added sugar intake to no more than 6 teaspoons 24 grams, per day, and men limit their intake to no more than 9 teaspoons 36 grams, per day. This applies to added sugars, which are sugars that are added to foods during processing or preparation such as table sugar, brown sugar, honey, and high fructose corn syrup. It's important to note that this recommendation does not include naturally occurring sugars found in fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. These sugars are generally considered healthy and do not need to be limited as strictly as added sugars. However, it's worth noting that some people may need to limit their sugar intake further based on individual health needs. For example, People with diabetes may need to carefully monitor their sugar intake to manage their blood sugar levels. Overall, it's important to be mindful of added sugar intake and choose whole, nutrient-dense foods whenever possible. This can help promote overall health and reduce the risk of chronic health conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Sugar will eat your teeth if Sugar can have a significant effect on tooth enamel, the hard, protective outer layer of teeth. When sugar is consumed, it can be broken down by bacteria in the mouth into acid, which can then attack and erode tooth enamel over time. This process is known as demineralization. Repeated exposure to sugar and acid can weaken tooth enamel, making it more susceptible to decay and cavities. Over time, if left untreated, decay and cavities can lead to more serious dental problems, including tooth loss. It's important to note that it's not just the amount of sugar consumed that matters but also the frequency of consumption. Consuming sugary foods and drinks frequently throughout the day can increase the risk of enamel erosion and tooth decay, as the mouth does not have enough time to recover between sugar exposures. To help protect tooth enamel, it's recommended to limit sugar intake, particularly sugary snacks and drinks, and to brush and floss teeth regularly to remove plaque and bacteria. Additionally, chewing sugar-free gum can help stimulate saliva production which can help neutralize acid in the mouth and promote tooth remineralization. Can children consume sugar? OR at what age can children consume sugar? Children can start consuming small amounts of sugar after they turn one year old. However, it's important to keep in mind that the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children under the age of two should not consume any added sugars. It's also worth noting that children's taste preferences are largely formed during the first few years of life. So it's important to offer a variety of healthy foods and limit exposure to sugary foods and drinks as much as possible during this time. This can help establish healthy eating habits that can benefit them throughout their lives. As children get older, it's important to monitor their sugar intake and encourage them to make healthy choices. The American Heart Association recommends that children ages 2 to 18 should have no more than 6 teaspoons 25 grams, of added sugars per day and that children under the age of two should not consume any added sugars. Overall, it's important to balance sugar intake with a healthy, varied diet that includes plenty of whole, nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources. Can old people eat sugar? Yes, old people can eat sugar in moderation, just like people of any age. However, it's important for older adults to pay attention to their overall diet and limit their intake of added sugars, as excessive sugar consumption can contribute to various health problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. Additionally, older adults may be more susceptible to these health issues. So it's important to be mindful of their sugar intake and maintain a balanced and healthy diet. Consultation with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian can help determine the right amount of sugar that is appropriate for individual dietary needs. Conclusion on the difference between white and brown sugar. White sugar and brown sugar are both types of granulated sugar that are commonly used in baking and cooking. However, they differ in their processing and nutritional value. White sugar is the most common type of sugar and is made by processing sugar cane or sugar beets to remove the molasses and impurities. This results in a white, refined sugar that is high in calories but contains no vitamins or minerals. While white sugar is often used as a sweetener, it has been linked to negative health effects when consumed in excess. Brown sugar, on the other hand, 
is made by adding molasses back into refined white sugar. This gives brown sugar its characteristic brown color and a slightly caramel-like flavor. Brown sugar contains slightly more nutrients than white sugar because it retains some of the molasses, which contains small amounts of minerals such as calcium, potassium, and iron. However, the difference in nutrient content is not significant enough to provide any significant health benefits. Benefits of sugar include providing a quick source of energy, improving mood and cognitive function, and enhancing athletic performance. However, these benefits are short-lived and can be outweighed by the negative effects of excessive sugar consumption. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to weight gain, obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other health problems. Consuming too much sugar can also lead to dental problems, such as tooth decay and cavities. Overall, while brown sugar may have a slightly different taste and contains slightly more nutrients than white sugar, both types of sugar should be consumed in moderation as part of a healthy, balanced diet. Dear friends, if you liked our video, don't forget to press thumbs up, write a comment and also subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the next video. Be healthy and happy!